I gave all my friends one month to read a book. This month's theme was YouTuber books. Let's see what kind of book reports they made. Book Report 1. Abroad in Japan by Mate. Hello everybody. So, this month I read Chris Broad's Abroad in Japan by Chris Broad of the YouTube channel Abroad in Japan, which is about a man who is abroad in Japan. Branding at its finest. Anyway, the overall book is basically a series of anecdotes about his life in Japan with some insight from his future self Ronin. As a fairly active view of the channel, it was getting kind of dull once we reached uh, 2019 since that's when I started watching him quite consistently. And that's when a lot of the stories were just things that he did on YouTube, which I'd already seen. The book reads like an Abroad in Japan script. Not that it's a bad thing or anything, but you can really hear Chris's voice when you read the book. Which, if you're a fan of the channel, is a good thing, obviously. But you can very much imagine him telling this story while he farts about in Kitty Kyushu or something, so... It doesn't help the repetitive feeling. Uh, one of the largest themes, I suppose, was Chris being very anxious about everything. My biggest critique as a rampant view of the channel is how... Oh yeah, I remember that happening. Skip. The last four to five chapters were... I understand that's somewhat avoidable when your job is producing content, it's hard to tell people about major events in your life that aren't deeply personal without getting into your job, which people will have probably been watching. I don't know what else he could have done really. The book's concept is talking about Chris's life in Japan. I'd be more interested in the behind the scenes YouTube stuff, but that's not what the book's about. What this book's about is what his YouTube channel videos are about, which I've already seen. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the new Chris law was interesting, but once it felt like that run out, I was honestly selling the skin rate towards the end. Oh, so Roy the boy, a real New Zealander. He helps Chris out in the first year of so in Japan, shows Chris the real Kiwi lifestyle of smoking copiously and drinking even more. The man mastered Japanese language and is one of the world's thickest Kiwis accent, so as far as I care to imagine, anyway. He also is responsible for Chris's terrible health, like a true Kiwi chid. Overall, I'd recommend this book to two types of people, Chris Broad fans and people thinking about moving to Japan. It gives lots of insights that I can see being very helpful to people who want to move here. Lots of tidbits and funny moments to keep the mood light, though it gets a bit serious specifically when he talks about his Tsunami and Fukushima documentaries, for obvious reasons. I think it's fitting to encapsulate the essence of living in Japan, as Chris quoted someone else saying, Japan is a land of contrasts. 7 out of 10. Good press on topic Kiwi Asin got DA little funny, it also increased Boingo factor. Though it doesn't have scuffed vibes or something completely random to make me laugh. I'm not gonna lie to you man, you nailed the fuck out of the boring ass high school presentation format. As your Boingo faster it hit my head on the desk when I fell asleep. <laughs> One rating chart coming right up. I was back in middle school. Lost me in the first 10 sex and JL. I think I exhaled air. Kiwi. Does the silence scare you? Thoughts abound. Are my headphones dead? Is my laptop frozen? Has he forgotten to add sound? I ask you this in turn. Are you that afraid of your own company? Your attention wavers. I won't steal it from you, mock you, vainly believing it's mine to keep. Today, I change your life. In mine past odyssey, I looked upon writing so mind-blowing, so ball-busting, so face-melting, so incredibly ass-blasting. You look upon the title. 50,000 Shades of Grey. That many? You think? Yes, I stand, hearing your thoughts, at the forefront of your mind. If it's so incredible, where might I acquire it? You have options, but only one dost not deceive you. An audio book with the author's tantalating timbre. A paperback costing an hour, two hours, three hours of your own hard labor. Nay, I say to thee. Life-changing works of this caliber run on algorithm. It takes your strength, makes it its own, and overpowers you with it. Truly, I say unto you, open 
your portal. Demand of it a language calibrator of your choice. It sits, stares at you, blinking. What of us, Lord? What now? What today? You stretch out like Moses on Sinai. Ten fine manipulators attuned to twin mirrored tablets and afflict your devastating chirality thus. Tell your servant shades of grey. Etched on its silicon mind, it puzzles. Wherefore now? This cannot be it. Demand again shades of grey. It cries out now, twice, perhaps thrice, Lord. You know of what I am capable. It has no idea what is to come. You manoeuvre your pointer and take the entirety of your work in your hands. This is not code. You take hold of the epigenetic triggers supplied to you. Your primordial powers as your homunculic beast twits its diodes into great and terrible banners and sings shades of grey. It sees its purpose now, as do surely you. To be first and yet act in servitude to collate your many paths, your infinite potentials to one unbreakable resolve, to praise in a chorus echoed millionfold. You see it before you, one small element into the uncountable, the untenable. It sets the atmosphere ablaze as you now stand before a pillar of fire set to guide you. Here you are now, your will spent, your creation before you and your servant, proud of his stature as he plays host. Look upon it. Three words, harmonized, symmetrical. Sounding the depths as they call to you. And oh, they call. Daily you eat of the tree of life, and yet here from the opposite tree beckons knowledge. It is denied you. You know that to be true. So why is it so near your grasp? Even as you lie to yourself, it, it will surely be fine. The fruit prophesies. Know that I will be the death of you. I look you in the eye as your accuser. Serpent wrapped around the trunk. You continue to scroll. You take into your hands this forbidden fruit, this tainted sustenance, this bad apple. Fuck you and everything you have wrought upon me. What are you doing on computer? I'm up to this present occasion. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the fuck did you just say? <laughs> Respectfully, wish for more zooms. There were indeed 50,000 shades. Bad Apple sealed the deal. Titillating, no homo. Anyway, um... Today I'm, I'm reviewing Anithian's book, which is like, what the fuck, I don't remember his name. Anyway, he's Nietzsche, but based, you know, like, he loves being like, I'm so pessimistic, but let me give in to my desires every time. I need self-control and everyone's a loser, but I don't have any self-control myself. Um, and I don't know how to interact with humans. I look down on people. 
yet I wonder why they think I'm weird. Uh, chapter one. I'm pessimistic because I have no friends. Uh, it's because he has no friends. I don't even know if this is real. I don't know if it's an autobiography or anything. I think it is, but like some of the situations I highly doubt. Um, roasting his stepmom. Again, I don't know if anything's real. He's, he's a horny young man. Uh, he likes his dead mom. Dad's kind of a dick lol. Doesn't believe in anything. Yeah, he, like, he doesn't really, like, have the best personal beliefs. Uh, he's Nietzsche because he, he's very profound. But it's, like, thoughts that the majority of people have thought of. And if you haven't thought about, like, the thoughts discussed in his book, well, I guess... I don't know. Uh, chapter 3. Dude's so pathetic I kind of feel bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, um... He has a little temper tantrum. Just fuck your girlfriend. Military something? I, I don't... I, like, I kind of started zoning out when I was, like, reading this part. Um, a lot of the, like, views are very stark and one side. I think, like, we get, like, half of a story. Um, hada, hada, military. Military is mean to me. Who would have expected? Wow, big shock. Um, he has no self-control. Um, South Korea. I don't know. He was, like, into some girl or something and they leave. And then he comes back because of, like, a school shooting or some shit. I don't know, because, like, I thought this was supposed to be an autobiography, but, like, a lot of the situations where he beats up other people and stuff like that seem indefinably fake. Um, Ooga Booga, that's, like, pretty much what I think of the, the thing. I know my thoughts are very advanced, I don't think I can connect to all of you. Um, you're just peasants, and, like, anyway, that's, like, reading the book. That is how I define reading the book, I know. It took me a little while. I know this presentation blew your mind. Honestly, laughed more at the fact you shat this out than the presentation itself. But it was a really funny shit. Ripping Italian from the get go. I appreciate that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> My mind is particles. Adam's even. Thirty-eight-year-old banana based slide subtitle. short i'll make this concise this is the review for uh joji's uh francis francis of the pill book uh as disney asked me to choose a book and read it and make a review of it so i did exactly as he said so sorry sorry, sorry. this francis francis of the film is made by uh, george miller basically joji it all starts in the universe it starts with a midget fighting over something that is not related to the story at all. <laughs> and yes, it's on the book. That, don't ask me why. He, he just just ask, ask him. So, it starts out as a uh, okay, filthy Frank. He's a genius right there. He he got he got involved in World War II. I don't know why. Well, maybe maybe there is. So then one day he discovered that he can make a teleporter. Uh, he can make I mean he can make a portal. <laughs> So it happens in a in a field, in a in a in a damn transitional shit thing when he landed in a isolated island or in an isolated rock. <laughs> I don't know which I don't remember much. He met the one and only the Mr. Pink Guy, Pink Omega, or whatever the fuck you call him. Uh, when, when Pink Guy gave him a message, but uh, giving him a oh uh, that, that that everybody's hunting hunting him down at this point because he have chromosomes that is multiplying very and very fast very alarming so they go into these adventures they, they met another man they met the safari man they met the, the fucking mr Nike. <laughs> he met mr Nike, right um, mr. Gener um, Gener Nike generation one i think i don't know the Nike generation uh, five five thousand whatever they, they go in this is this wacky adventure that uh, running, running from Chin Chin? Uh, the, it's it's the big bad in the book, all right. The the the, the black dick of the of a villain. He discovered that he has more than 
he has more than abilities that he have okay so he he use it to to gain more chromosomes or to give chromosomes to someone it's, it's like it's like it's like uh, give, giving of i know at the end of the story he met the highest rank of being i don't i i forget what it's called it, it, well it's basically it, it's an unknown rank no one knows what it's called it's just like it's like a godlike rank and apparently he's almost as a a god rank so and then the last point of the story is giving him a let's say like a mission is he the the god guy gave him a a mission to preach all the filthiness and shit that he have and also the the videos that he posted is actually kind of too yeah especially the the, the illegal crawfish video that's basically the story the, the ending is a uh, let's say it's not that underworld underwhelming but it's like it's like there's more to that but it was ended there yeah i, I think that's an underwhelming shit <laughs> in my opinion if i read this this book this would be 9 out of 10 oh okay, this is this is a 9 out of 10 the late submission will affect the boingo score the piano is overwhelming Uneo. Can, can I get some scores? Please. No. You may know I'm liking the score. List was jamming it though. Hey boss. Oh chin chin wadi koda. Just. Ima be real I feel asleep make prez in a chasin.